Hello, Pancasters, and welcome back. Today we have Amit and Rapendra back to talk about Strata Cloud Manager and how it can help with observability, security posture, and operational stability. Welcome back, Amit and Rapendra. Just as a reminder, Amit leads our SRE team in Palo Alto Networks. The SRE team, or Site Reliability Engineering, manage the infrastructure for Prisma Access, and Nrapendra is the SASE product manager for JPAC. Thanks, John. Excited to be back here. Thanks, John. Pancasters, hello again. So, Nrapendra, what is Strata Cloud Manager, and why do we have it? Let me start by giving some background here. In our customer engagements, customers have shared with us the challenges of integrating diverse security tools, which are deployed in their environments. As per them, this has led to gaps in their security posture. Multiple patchwork activities have led to manual and error-prone configurations, and this has resulted in ineffective monitoring and troubleshooting, meaning they are not timely, accurate, and useful. Now, there are even further obstacles regarding skilled manpower. When you have multiple point products to manage the network and security, your operations teams need to be trained across multiple products. And to reach a meaningful finding, you will have to jump across these products and integrate data from each point product. Based on the research done by Gartner and Microsoft, we have confirmed that our customers are not alone in this experience. Gartner predicts that 99% of security breaches will occur due to misconfiguration. Multiple products means multiple configurations and multiple points of failure. As such, in a typical outage, on average, an enterprise may lose around $1.3 million. Wow, that is significant. Go on, Naprendra. Through this session, we aim to deepen the understanding of our Pancast listeners on how Strata Cloud Manager can act as a catalyst or an enabler to elevating and resolving these pain points. It provides a simple and intuitive user experience, unified observability, and makes AI-powered operations possible. Great. So why is observability so important and what problems does it solve? Observability is insights into a service operation that gives you information about the service's health and guidance on optimally running the service and handling error states. This is true not only for the operator running the service, but also for the user, albeit with a different view. Services today are complex and involve multiple heterogeneous systems working together to deliver them. Each of these systems working in a silo emitting information about its vitals and services health for their silo could be rendered totally meaningless when looking at a larger service that this small system is a part of. In essence, the large service that the end user is availing may almost always need a correlation of data from a multitude of systems that work together to deliver this service. This means that observability that makes sense to the user or the operator will need logs, traces, metrics, and data from various heterogeneous systems correlated and analyzed at a service level. This will give the user and the operator a service level visibility into the system's health and operation. And that's what the user is looking for. The best example that comes to my mind is an airplane cockpit. Until the 1980s, an airplane cockpit had more than two crew members. There were the two flying pilots, and in addition to them, there will be a flight engineer. The role of the flight engineer was to monitor the various parameters of the aircraft, and give the flying pilots a correlated view of the systems running on the plane so that the flying pilots could just fly the plane. With better observability over the years, the flight engineer gave way to a glass cockpit where computers correlate the information from the various data sources and give the flying pilots a view that they can comprehend and quickly make operational decisions. So how can we apply this approach to operating Prisma Access? Running a service like Prisma Access can draw similes from the aircraft cockpit example. There are layers of heterogeneous systems at work, and services render needs an observability platform that gives operators and users a view of the service. Since Access is an essential service for all customers today, end users need service insights that help them use the service optimally. At the same time, 
Prisma Access operators and SRE teams need a glass cockpit view of the service that allows them to operate it optimally. With network and security operations combined, customers are asking for meaningful insights into what is now considered a basic infrastructure service. Good info. In your experience, what is the primary challenge faced by organizations adopting SASE? And how does Palo Alto Networks aim to address it? Good questions, John. Some of the challenges uh, I have already mentioned when we talked about background. As for the primary one, we have seen that customers deploy multiple fragmented point products from multiple vendors to secure their environment. This is because there are not many products available in the market from a single vendor that can comprehensively address customers' network and security needs. We have customers who use, for example, CASB from one vendor, then ST1 from another. Then for Secure Web Gateway, they use products from a completely different vendor. This is the primary challenge for organizations who want to adopt SASE. Palo Alto Networks is one of the few vendors who are able to deliver full SASE capability by a single product. Most of the vendors do not have a unified UI for configuration and monitoring and unified policy that is compatible across all these components. And we have a unified data lake, which we call Strata Logging Services or SLS for all these components in a single place. We have built Strata Cloud Manager as a technology that unifies all these components and provides our customers with a unified experience for threat detection, threat response, and maintaining overall unified security posture. Okay, so what are the core capabilities of Strata Cloud Manager? Right, SCM's capabilities can be grouped into three key areas. Again, these are based upon the learnings we've had as a Prisma Access SRE team. The first one is predicting and preventing disruptions. Secondly, strengthening real-time security. And thirdly, single visibility and management portal. Let's dwell into each one of them piecemeal. The first one, and probably the most important one, predicting and preventing operational disruptions. SCM eliminates blind spots by providing a unified view of users, applications, infrastructure, and network connectivity. At the same time, AI-powered analytics forecasts potential issues like resource constraints, enabling proactive remediations, and preventing user experience disruptions. An intuitive interface lets operators quickly investigate and resolve issues using plain English language queries. SCM also provides AI playbooks and automated support ticket remediations to streamline incident responses and reduce resolution times. Secondly, and equally important, is strengthening security in real time. SCM helps identify unused and underutilized security resources suggesting optimizations to maximize your ROI. ML-powered analytics detects and remediates Prisma SASE and NG firewall misconfigurations, ensuring continuous security posture improvements. SCM also guides administrators in implementing security policies that align with the best practices during configuration. And the third one, and I'd say, not the last one, but equally important as the other two would be comprehensive visibility and management. Strata Command Center provides a centralized command control center. This visualization tool provides real-time unified visibility across all deployments, offering contextual insights into applications, users, and devices. SCM streamlines complex configurations and increases administrator efficiency. Tools like snippets, hierarchical folders ensure consistent policy enforcement across multiple tenants and segments. Sounds like Strata Cloud Manager has a lot of useful tools. What Palo Alto Networks products can be managed by it? Yes, SCM provides centralized management for a wide range of Palo Alto Network solutions within the SASE portfolio, including Cloud Managed Prisma Access, Panorama Managed Prisma Access, Next Generation Firewalls, VM series firewalls, and Prisma SD-WAN. 
And what are the specific benefits of using Strata Cloud Manager for Prisma Access deployments? Let me respond to that. This is something I have already alluded to when we talked about our philosophy. We provide users a comprehensive monitoring and alerting mechanism. This, in turn, helps users to gain deep visibility into their network security environment. Users can also leverage out-of-the-box AI-powered tools to automate threat detection, analysis, and response. This reduces manual effort and improves effectiveness. The users are able to manage all aspects of their deployment from a single unified user interface. Simply said, they don't have to jump across multiple tools and UIs and data sources to manage and monitor their network security. This is the core benefit of using Strata Cloud Manager. And Strata Cloud Manager is a Palo Alto managed infrastructure. That means customers do not have to manage the config and monitoring infrastructure on their own. This saves a lot of cost and effort for our customers. So for new customers wanting to start using Strata Cloud Manager, or if existing customers want to move to Strata Cloud Manager, how can Palo Alto Network support them? So we offer a multifaceted approach to support this. We provide comprehensive documentations, that is, detailed guides, tutorials, and knowledge-based articles. And these are readily available for our customers on the web. Then we provide demos and evaluation programs. Our interactive demos and evaluation programs provide users the hands-on experience into Strata Cloud Manager's capabilities. Some of our customers and partners may not know this. We also provide professional services. Our team of experts can assist with deployment, configurations, optimization, and provide all kinds of support. Hope this answers your questions. Great. So we can help our customers with adopting Strata Cloud Manager. What are some common challenges organizations might encounter when implementing SCM, and how can they be addressed? Yes, of course, there are challenges. While SCM is designed for ease of use, organizations may face challenges related to data granularity or user awareness. When I say data granularity, I mean fine-tuning data presentations to meet specific needs that might require some adjust adjustments. When I say user awareness, I mean in ensuring that security teams are aware of SCM's capabilities and benefits, and it's crucial to, that, uh, to their successful adoption of SCM. We address these challenges through either professional services or through training and enablement programs. With professional services, our experts can help tailor SCM to your specific requirements and provide guidance on data visualization and analytics. We also offer comprehensive training programs to educate security teams on SCM's features, benefits, and its best practices. What are some of the planned enhancements and future directions for Strata Cloud Manager? This sounds like a roadmap question, so I will take it. We are adding new dashboards for our next-gen CASB, application acceleration, data leakage protection to Gen AI tools in order to provide even deeper insights. Then we are on the path to roll out our NetSec Copilot. Copilot will deliver more intelligent assistance and automations for our users. We have been running this Copilot with our support teams already. Also, we want to make sure that Strata Cloud Manager is usable to a global audience. We want to support multiple languages such as Japanese, Chinese, Korean, etc. This is how we have planned our near to midterm future. Great info. So finally, Ahmed and Rapendra, what are some of the key takeaways? In my words, Strata Cloud Manager represents a paradigm shift in network security management and operations. By unifying visibility, automating tasks, and leveraging the power of AI, SCM empowers organizations to stay ahead of threats, simplify security operations, and focus on what truly matters. And that's their business. Dipendra, what do you say? I would say this is something of a revelation I had in a recent SASE user forum we had in Tokyo and Osaka. 
most of our existing customers did not know that Strata Cloud Manager exists and they have access to it. Guess what? Even if you have a legacy panorama-based deployment, the visibility dashboards such as Insights and Command Center, which are the integral parts of Strata Cloud Manager, are accessible out of the box by default for free. Accessing these already available portions of Strata Cloud Manager can help you explore further and adopt better. And in a future pancast, we hope to discuss on how we are utilizing AI and ML to protect our customers from zero day vulnerabilities and an uncontrolled uses of Gen AI apps. We'd also like to discuss more on how our Strata Copilot will help to support your network and security operations. Thanks again, Amit and Rapendra. We look forward to having you back soon for some more great info. Pancasters, as always, the transcript will be available on live.paloaltonetworks.com. Great to be here. See you soon. Thanks all. See you.